My name is Bob Bellis, this is my wife Kathy, and we are the Dryer Event Wizard franchisees in central New Jersey. So we originally explored the opportunity to, to start a family business. Uh, it was a point in our lives where uh, I've worked in the corporate world for many years, uh, continue to do so now while Kathy runs our business. But we're trying to build something for our family, uh, for our kids. I think what really rang true for us with Dryer Event Wizard was trying to do something valuable uh, for the community that would allow us to do well for ourselves. So almost a giving back uh, mentality, if you will. So when we found out the problem that Dryer Event Fires cause and how prevalent it is and how many homeowners aren't aware of those issues, we, thought, we felt this was a perfect opportunity to achieve those goals of doing well, doing good, um, doing something good for the community and building something for the family. I enjoy running the business, but I think one of the things I enjoy the most is helping people in the community um, to educate them on fire safety. Um, with life being so hectic, raising kids, their activities, going to work and everything, it's something that gets overlooked a lot of times and people just are not aware of the fire hazards with their dryer. I talk to the firefighters, they say, you know, the worst fires are dryer fires. And you don't realize how many, a lot of people, leave their homes with their dryers off because they're busy or they're taking care of the kids or whatever. So educating on the safety of your fire, you know, your dryer vents is very important. And I think it's something that, you know, even with codes changing nowadays, people are seeing that it is a problem. So people don't realize, they think that the tube behind their dryer is their dryer vent, not realizing that could travel well through your house. And that could be a matter of losing lives or losing their entire home. The home office staff is great. Um, I enjoy, you know, even um, some of the scheduling center people when they call, you know, you're familiar with them and it's good to hear from them. They're very helpful. Um, I think they're very good with the clients. Um, they're very good with letting us know what's going on on their end so that when we have to address something, we know exactly what we're dealing with. Um, they're usually very available, you know, when you call in. So it's very helpful to have them so that I am not spending my time answering phone call after phone call. They kind of take care of all of that for me. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I've always found too is the support is, it, it's, it's broad, meaning uh, just last, last night or a day ago or so, we need to be, needed to make changes to the email accounts. And um, I mean, nine o'clock at night I sent the email, not respect, not a, or the request, not expecting an answer until the next day, but it was basically, Scott responded immediately, and uh, I think uh, MJ took care of it the next morning. It was done. Uh, the other thing I always liked, too, was, and I didn't expect this going into it, um, you know, Dave Laval, the founder, is so available. And um, not only does he know a lot about Dryervan Wizard and the technical side of the business, but he's just a smart businessman and is so giving of that knowledge that to bounce ideas off of Dave, um, to talk about different problems and how to approach them always helps us make a better decision. And we found you know, things very similar with other people in the home office too, whether it's something with the scheduling center, when the new, uh, the new database came out, how do we make the most of this, how do we use this in a way that's going to make it easier so the learning curve is shorter, and the communication back and forth was always really strong. I also think that um, corporate, as far as things go, when you do have an idea, um, they're always willing to listen, they're always willing to try to approach something in order to see if that can happen for you. It's not like they're just taking it upon themselves, they do listen to you for your needs or your wants and try their best to address that. So I think that's helpful because it's not a one-sided thing. So we are two years in, um, at the end of the first full year, we expanded from one truck and one technician to two trucks and two technicians. Um, we made the decision just recently uh, to invest in another territory, which um, geographically is very close to where we're at, so we're going to support that territory with the same two trucks and two technicians, possibly a part-timer, uh, you know, to help. and. 
I think the business is very scalable. Um, it's starting to provide an exciting future where when we started, we hoped we could do some things with it and that it would be something to build on. And now we can see exactly how that might start to take place. And we're seeing exactly what things do we need to do to make some of those things uh, come to fruition. And the cool thing is, there's nothing limiting us from taking it where we want to go. It's a matter of having a plan, executing the plan, using the franchise system to our advantage because there's so many knowledgeable people that have been in this business longer than us. And all the other franchises are very, very giving with advice, experience, best practices, um, watch out for this. If you do that, you might want to think about this. So we try to take advantage of that as well. You never, you never, you never. The whole time. Are we starting from the top? Yes, we're gonna have to start. Okay. We're gonna take two Bellises. Okay, I really enjoy running. I really enjoy running. <laughs> what do you like, Ron? What do you like about running yeah, driver? Perfect. This business. is exactly what we I was hoping you, I get from you guys. <laughs> well, I'm be hitting him. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Awesome. That's good because now I, I don't even know what I. You said. got plenty That's of water. That's okay. Perfect. We still got that one.